Hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here with me and I'm going to do a reading for you. So this reading is going to be a karmic reading. Okay, so please keep in mind these readings can be pretty intense. They can get pretty detailed and dark at times. So um, just keep in mind that these are live energies that are walking this earth. Okay, um, and if it's too intense for you, there's plenty of other readings on the channel that you can go and check out. Okay, information for personal and private readings are down below each video in the description box down below, along with my email if you would like to book a reading. And um, if you'd like to help support the channel, you can leave me a like, share, subscribe, and a comment down below. And I just want to thank everyone for your comments. I also want to thank Alexa for your donation to the channel. Thank you so much. And... Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Um, as you guys can see, I am in a different setting right now again. So, um, or the same different setting, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, uh, I forgot my tripod. So, this is just for a day or two. Um, pardon the video quality just for today. I'm back to my old camera. Some of you that have been on this channel for a while, you probably have seen this camera before. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. So of course, we're going to start off by pulling the mutual energy between the masculine and the karmic partner. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to grab my deck and we're going to go ahead and give it a good shuffle so you guys can see that my are always shuffled for you um, organically. So let's go ahead. All right. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the mutual energy between the masculine and the karmic partner in this reading. And also keep in mind, um, I do believe in collective energies, obviously, because um, I do believe in astrology and I do believe in that collective energy moving through. But I do believe that that collective energy affects us all differently. Okay, um, just like astrology. You know, there might be a certain energy or a planet moving through, let's say it's moving through your chart in, in the fifth house, right? Well, for someone else, it could be moving through their 12th house or it could be moving through their eighth house. So that's what I'm saying. Every collective energy affects us all differently and it might even affect one person in a good way. And then the next person, like in, in a bad way or in a challenging way, and it's because we are all made up of different energies and frequencies and the energies moving through definitely affects us all differently. And it shows up that way in our astrology charts as well. That's just what I believe. Okay. So also keep that in mind as well. I do work a little bit more on an individualized basis. So again, take the readings as they personally resonate with you. But there is also information or personal readings down below, and I am available for those. Okay, so yeah, let's get this mutual energy between the masculine and the karmic partner. See what's going on. All right. Okay, so right off the bat, we got three of cups. Cancerian energy, third party energy. Okay, I think that somebody might have been having a little bit too much fun. There might be a little bit too much partying taking place. Too much going out. Okay, with the Three of Cups. So I am seeing three people here. This is a third party situation. Okay, this karmic is not the only one involved here. And... I'm, I'm noticing the circles. It looks like hula hoops, and each one of these hula hoops are interconnected except for two of them. So I do feel that this masculine is having sexual relationships with the karmic and also this other person as well. 
okay? So they are being intimate with both people. This is a masculine who I feel like has been like kind of promiscuous in the past. And I feel like maybe the karmic has that same type of behavior. Okay, this is, um, I feel like this masculine could be a little bit too free with themselves at times. Okay, um, I feel like this masculine likes to have fun. They like to not take things too seriously. They like to party. They might like to drink. Okay. Um, and I think that they have made some mistakes. Okay. They've been very careless at times in their relationships. That's being clarified by the Three of Cups here. So there's a certain element of carelessness when it comes to other people's emotions because to this masculine, it's all in good fun. Right. To the karmic, I feel like they're like the same way to a certain extent, okay? But there's something different about this karmic, and, and we'll get into that, okay? But I do have Cancerian energy here as well. Um, I think that underneath all of it, this masculine can actually be very sensitive, very much in touch with... Very much in touch with... Um, his emotions, how he feels, but it's like he doesn't express that a lot, okay? And I think that it has a tendency to really come out when they're drinking. So that's one thing that I am picking up from this masculine. They will really blurt it all out when they're drunk or when they're drinking. It's like that's when their real feelings comes out, their true emotions, especially when it comes to love. And I'm also seeing, this is interesting, one person here is extremely confident, right? And I'm also seeing that one person is very tall, and then the other two people in the situation are almost the same height, almost. There might be like an inch difference or less than an inch. I'm seeing the masculine is very, very tall, and the karmic and the other feminine, the divine feminine, are almost the same height, but one is a little bit shorter than the other, just just a little bit, okay? So let's get another card here. I also, Spirit's like, hold on, you're not done yet. <laughs> I also feel like, okay, so I feel this masculine, like they'll drink and then all their emotions will come out. That's like when they're really they really allow themselves to become vulnerable, but like you're not really vulnerable because you're drinking, right? Like it's kind of like that, but that's kind of like when they allow themselves to open up, right? And um, what Spirit is telling me is that they will like open up, they'll like pour their hearts out. It'll seem so genuine, so real. And I feel like to the person they are pouring their heart out to, um, they're like, oh my gosh, uh, you know, this sounds so genuine. This is, this has to be real, right? Yeah, they're drinking, but maybe they just needed that liquid courage to say it, you know? And then it's like the next day they will shut down. They will completely go into their shell. Um, it's like, and, and they'll pretend like nothing even happened. And I feel like this has happened a few times with this feminine, okay? Not the karmic, the feminine. So they've done this a few times. So anyways, let's get let's keep going. All right, let's get another card for this mutual energy. I almost feel like I need to make this a third party reading. We'll see what comes out. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the mutual energy. Tell me more about the mutual energy between the masculine and the karmic partner in this reading. Okay, we got sexually hooked. It really doesn't surprise me that this is coming out. It says addicted to sex, intense sexual chemistry, frequent sexual encounters. Okay. So again, I'm seeing all the hula hoops interconnected in this card, except for two. So obviously the karmic and the 
you know, divine feminine are not sleeping together. That's obvious. That's the two that's not connected. Okay, but the masculine sleeping with the karmic. They're sleeping with the feminine as well. And I do feel like this is a masculine that might actually struggle with a sex, sex addiction with the Three of Cups and with this card coming out to clarify it. Okay. I also feel like this masculine has a very intense sexual chemistry. I feel like they have a very, very sexual energy, a very exciting energy around them. This is someone who is very sexual and it comes through in their words and the tone of their voice and the way that they dress and their smile um, and the way that they look at you and the way, you know, it just comes out in everything they do. And I do feel like this person might struggle with a sex addiction, okay? Um, they are very open when they're drinking and I feel like that has contributed to their sex addiction, okay? Um, so let's keep going here. Yeah, so I just feel like they're very open when they're drinking and, you know, they really let their guards down and they just have made some mistakes, but it's like a type of mistake that they continue to keep doing, right? And I feel like they blame it on the alcohol and what what I'm seeing and what Spirit is telling me, a lot of times it is the alcohol, but sometimes it isn't. Sometimes the alcohol is only the excuse, okay? Because they have developed they have developed an addiction to that certain type of behavior. Let's get another card here, okay? Um Sorry, I have my travel box here and all of my cards are in it, so I'm just grabbing. Okay. You know, let's get a karmic card. I feel like it's warranted here um, in the mutual energy, so let's go ahead and clarify with a karmic card here. Okay, so this karmic and this masculine are very materialistic. I feel like they have a very materialistic relationship. It's all about things and, you know, appearances. And it seems very superficial as well. It's like, it's like the type of energy of like keeping up appearances. Like, like, oh, we have to appear together you know, so that no one knows anything is off or, um, you know, we're going to have all of these nice things and flashy things and we're going to flash them all over in front of everyone's faces so, th so that people, you know, are jealous of us because that's going to reinforce that we have the best relationship. That's how this karmic thinks. It really is. They're very materialistic. And I feel like with the materialistic card coming out here, it says something as well. So I feel like this masculine spirit is really rejecting that materialism. But I feel like it's being pushed on them. So there's something about the physical, the 3D, the material that's being pushed onto this masculine's energy. And it's like they're succumbing to it and acting out from that in certain ways and I feel like one of those ways is is sex and it's like sex is very physical right it's 3d it is in a way material when there isn't a spiritual connection involved it can be very material right because there's nothing spiritual there in it to give it that you know really that's that substance or whatever you want to call it so I feel that this masculine is seeking that. They're seeking that that spiritual connection, that substance behind 
the physical connection. And I feel that they've been seeking that over and over in their life. And that's another reason why they have developed this addiction. Okay, I also feel like this is an acting out. Another reason why they've developed this addiction is because it's actually a repulsion of the material, right? A repulsion, a rebellion. And, you know, instead of taking something material, trying to connect with something spiritual, but trying to connect yourself in all the wrong places and creating all these soul cords that really is not healthy and that you don't need, right? So, I feel, I feel this masculine has a very materialistic family. They're all about things. They're all about money, okay? That's what they place importance on. Okay, and I think that that in the inside, in this masculine's heart, it's actually always really repulsed them. The money, the flashy things, the way they're so quick to put somebody down for not having enough when that person had a good soul, a good heart, good character. They didn't look at those things. They only looked at what does this person have. Kind of like a shop owner putting a price tag on everything in the store. These people judge people um, almost like they place some hidden, unforetold value on people. And this masculine always felt that way. That's the way they viewed them. And listen, you guys, I'm channeling energy. And of course, that's wrong. It's actually sick. And and this masculine saw it as such, okay? Um, so they always were seeking for something deeper, something more spiritual, something to make them feel something less physical and more spiritual. Something or someone that they can completely lose themselves being around. Rejecting and rebelling against the material. And I just, I keep getting a sick feeling. Like, I feel like this masculine would watch family members or whatever it is, judge people over money, or um, just basically treat people like that, like we discussed, and would literally feel sick to their stomach. And in a way, I think that they did become uh, very sexually active I think probably at first as a way of rebelling against that life and against their parents, I think, at the same time. Um, so this is an addiction that's been developing for a while, okay? Uh, but I think they also cover that addiction up with, you know, the, the party guy act. Hey, I'm just having fun. I'm partying. I'm drinking. I'm going to clubs. I'm doing whatever, you know? Um, concealing an addiction. So let's go ahead and take a look at the masculine's individual energy towards the karmic. And let's take a look at the karmic's individual energy towards the masculine. All right, so the masculine's energy, we got the seven of wands in reverse. He has very poor boundaries, you guys. This masculine never learned how to create boundaries. I think that they had family that did cross boundaries time and time again. Um, and this is a masculine who feels like at a soul level, they're actually fighting for love. So this is by the way, um, a Sagittarius energy that's coming in. They don't have to be a Sagittarius, but they could be a Sagittarius sun, moon, or rising. You know, but I think that with that Sagittarius energy coming in, it's like searching for that something deeper, for a higher love, a higher belief, a 
you know, a higher understanding of life and relationships and love and all of it. They have very poor boundaries with themselves. I will tell you that. Okay. They have always felt like they've never gotten genuine love from their family. Um, it was always about material things. I feel like when this masculine's family, mother, father, whatever it is, went to express love to them, it was always that they tried to buy that love. So there would be a gift, there would be a present, there would be, you know, whatever it is, but it never equated for love. It never equated to love and they never related the two ever. They were completely unrelatable to this masculine because he never felt the love, the genuine authenticity any other time, okay? This could even be like a masculine who, you know, their parents didn't even raise them like it was a nanny or, you know what I mean? Like that type of energy. So really searching for intimacy is what they've been doing. Searching for a spiritual intimacy, but not knowing what it is and not even knowing how to search for it. So going about it in all the wrong ways, developing addictions, not knowing how to put up boundaries for yourself. Um, not knowing how to fight, how to fight for the love that you want, not knowing how they believe that they are, but they're not because they don't know how. Okay. So right now what I'm seeing is they're spiraling. Let's get another card here for their energy towards the karmic. Okay. Look at that. They are longing for something deeper. Something more spiritual. Okay. Longing to be with someone genuinely. And there is someone they're missing. There is someone that they're longing to be with. And I think that for the longest time in this masculine's life, they have really suffered in silence. They've suffered in more ways than one. And they cover that suffering up with an act of carelessness and partying and just acting and pretending like everything is fun and game. But really inside, they have become so confused. Okay. And I think that this masculine does have a hard time with commitment as well. This could be someone who they've messed up prior commitment. Okay. Um, the reason why? They don't have good boundaries. They, they don't know when to say no. They don't know when to cut themselves off either from alcohol or, you know, pretty much they're not good at it in any situation. So how can they carry a relationship if they did have the person they truly loved? How could they carry a relationship with that person if they have no boundaries? If they don't know how to say no? So I believe that's the reason that's what this masculine is meant to learn. They're meant to learn boundaries. They're meant to learn that true love is not material. It's not physical. It actually has nothing to do with sex. And that's what this masculine needs to learn. For the karmic, we got the two of wands, Aries energy, waiting, future planning, needing to choose a path. Okay. So I feel like this is a karmic who has had like her life planned out. That's what I'm getting here. Like they've had their life planned out, but they stall, they procrastinate. I feel like, I don't know. I almost feel like they're meant, they were meant to like go somewhere for college or they were meant to go somewhere for a job or travel somewhere. And it's like, they just don't. I feel like this is someone who's had a lot of opportunities and does not take them. Okay, this is someone who has a very hard time 
choosing things for their self because they're so worried about controlling others. This karmic is so worried about controlling this masculine that they have a very hard time figuring out their own life, their own path, their own passions. They have given up many opportunities because they're worried about this masculine. Uh, the reason why they're so worried about him is because this masculine, of course, we've talked about the mistakes that they've made. This masculine has been sexual and intimate with other people. It's not just once. I feel like it's happened at least twice to a wands. And this karmic wants to control them. They want to control their every move. And because they want to control their every move, their own life, their own self is completely out of control. They have lost any and all opportunities that they had. They are very down and out because they are so worried about this masculine cheating again. I'm just being honest here. They put themselves in a state of anxiety constantly. They try to bribe this masculine with material things. I feel this karmic is very similar to the masculine's family. It's the same type of dynamic, trying to buy their love, things like that. But this masculine doesn't want anyone to buy their love. This masculine has money, okay? Um, if they wanted something, they would just go buy it, right? They don't need someone to gift it to them. They don't need to ask anyone for anything. What they've been searching for is intimacy, true intimacy, something they have never had. And I honestly feel like this masculine has never had, like even as a child, they didn't bond with their mother. I don't feel like there is a mother-child bond with this masculine and their mother. I just don't. I feel like this mother is very cold. I just feel very, very cold from her. I, I feel like either she did, I, I think she was like around, but like she didn't raise the masculine much. So someone else was raising this masculine. So they were either paid to, um, I feel like they were paid to, but you know, that's the thing like, and it, it is a problem today, even that people take professions for the money. Like, I'm not saying everyone does that, but a lot do. And what I'm seeing this masculines, whoever raised them, they raised them for the money. They did not give them emotional support. They did not give them intimacy. They did not give them a bond. They did not give them a parental bond. They did not, none of those things. So this person raised this masculine for money and it felt very, very cold. This masculine felt alone a lot of times. They did not know how to develop boundaries because they were always searching for love and intimacy toward, from anyone. It didn't matter who it was. And it's like the harder they searched for it, the more they never got it. And so their boundaries kept crumbling and crumbling, right? They never developed those healthy boundaries because they were always searching for love. And now look what happened. Those boundaries, un underdeveloped, still searching for love in all the wrong places, but in a different way. So let's get another card for this karmic. Okay. I feel, I, I just feel like this karmic has no idea what they're doing in their life. Like they have no idea what they're doing. Like they, ha they have no plan. Like their only plan is to watch over this masculine, control this masculine. We got divine intervention, expect a miracle. The angels are going to intervene. So we can see that the angels are going to intervene. Um, with whatever this karmic is doing, okay? Because I think this masculine has been longing and praying and reaching out to spirit uh, from his heart. He has been suffering in silence, not just in his adult life, but also as a child, okay? So I'm seeing there is going to be a small miracle that's coming in for this masculine, and I hope that they recognize it and do something with it, right? Oh my gosh, look, it came out again when I said that. Expect a miracle. Okay, masculine, 
Be on the lookout for a miracle because it's coming in. Let's take a look um, at the karmic energy. Let's get another card. Oh boy, that wanted to jump out. What is it? Two loves. Difficult to choose. Caught between two loves. Loves both for different reasons. Okay. So again, this is speaking about, I feel this karmic feels caught between this masculine and her life. They are not on the same path. Two of wands, two different paths. They are on separate paths. Okay. Their path, I actually feel a lot of karmics are meant to come into, you know, masculine's life to teach a lesson to do this. This karmic, I actually don't feel like they were ever meant to be in each other's life. I actually feel that a lot of people, this masculine is brought into their energy and in their life was not meant to be there in the first place. I do. So this masculine is really overcomplicated their energy. And with the two loves, two of wands, this karmic has a choice to make, but they don't want to make it. They feel torn between their life, their future, what they have planned for themselves, and this masculine. They don't want to choose, okay? I do feel like whatever they have planned for themselves, be it higher learning education, a career, um, whatever it is, moving to a certain location, I do see, see specifically moving, okay? And it could be pretty far away. They don't want to do it because they don't want to leave this masculine side. They don't trust them. Okay, um, they don't trust them not to be with someone else. They feel like they have to be there all the time to watch them, to control them. And what kind of relationship is that? And I guess it's kind of a little ironic, to say the least, that this karmic acts like that in this masculine. You know, they're like, uh, they, as a child, kind of longed for that motherly bond and they never got it. And it's like... They're not consciously longing for that now, but like this karmic is like a very controlling, like, I don't know, strange mother or something. Um, with two loves, I think that this karmic knows that they're not the only one. Of course they know, but it's like there's something inside of them that tells them this masculine might be falling in love with someone else. Okay, there's something inside of them that tells them that. And I do see, indeed, they are longing to fall in love if they haven't already. And there is another person here. That's the person they're falling in love with. They're longing to be with. They miss them. They miss them in silence. And they're suffering without them. And that's what Spirit is telling me. Again, third-party energy, one masculine, two feminines. Okay, now let's take a look at the thoughts this masculine has towards the karmic partner. Spirit, please reveal to me what are the thoughts this masculine has towards the karmic partner. Okay, we got sexual encounter in reverse. Okay, sexual bond, lustful intent. So in the masculine's mind, they think about sex a lot, okay? They just do. Um, their thoughts towards the karmic, sexual encounter in reverse. I do feel there's, it's, this is going to sound really bad, but it's like they're getting bored with this, you know? I. They're bored with all of it. They're bored with the karmic. They're bored with these new people. They're bored with going out. They're bored with partying. They're bored with hooking up with people. They're bored with all of it. They're bored with sexual bonds. They're bored with feeling lustful. They're bored with this addiction. They, they're looking for satisfaction. They're looking to be content, but they can't find it. And with sexual encounter in reverse, they're... They know deep inside they have a problem. They do. They know deep inside they have a problem. And with this karmic, there was a sexual bond. But the more time goes on, the more that bond fades. The more 
it isn't as strong it's not as intense it doesn't do what it used to and with sexual encounter in reverse this masculine is realizing more and more every day that they do have a problem that this isn't actually what they want or what they've been seeking these sexual bonds is nothing right what they want is a spiritual bond one that can become physical for two spirits to become one and an act of love and that's something this masculine has never experienced because all he knows is sexual bonds lustful relationships At least that's all he had known until he met this other feminine. And we can see that he is longing. We'll pull some cards for her. Okay. Actually, we'll pull cards for his thoughts towards her. How about that? But um, first, let's get another card for the thoughts towards the karmic here. All right. So we got career and finances. They're trying to distract themselves from this behavior. They're really focused on work, okay? They're trying to build up their own finances, okay? Um, honestly, they, they were kind of raised that way. They were raised to um, go to work every day, to work your way up the career ladder, to be very focused, to put work as number one, um, you know? But their main focus is to improve their finances. Yes, they do have money, but this is a masculine who's growing up right now. Okay? They're realizing that sex isn't love, and they're realizing that they want to have their own money. They want to be financially independent. Why? So no one else can control them. Okay? So no one else can control them. Because this karmic was controlling them because their family controlled them and i think that that's the reason why they let the karmic control them because the family wanted to control them um in order to provide for them financially their family has money but that thought made them sick they didn't want to take that money they felt like they would be selling their soul so they somehow ended up with this karmic in the same situation just a little different, right? It's it's just a little bit different. So they're like, you know what? I'm going to do this on my own. I can do this, right? I'm going to be focused. I'm going to focus on work. I'm not going to let, um, you know, my relationships or anything affect my work. And I am going to improve my career. I'm going to improve my finances. And I am going to focus on that instead of partying instead of hooking up, right? So this masculine wants to do the right thing. Okay. And again, I think that the thing that drew them together was initially hooking up. You know, it's like, it was like a drunken hookup and it just turned into like them being together somehow, even though there's no real substance behind it. And something about it feels very depressing. I just have to, you know, I have to say something about it feels just so depressing, you guys. Like, so let's continue. All right. Let's get a karmic card for this masculine's thoughts towards the karmic. Oh, and also with sexual encounter in reverse and career and finances in reverse there's something about this karmic the way they treat him this masculine feels like like they're like paying him to have like sexual encounters like they they feel like the karmics you know what you know like someone who gets paid for that that's how this karmic makes them feel and there's something about it that just feels so very sad and depressing. Let's go ahead and get another card here. I mean, and it's not like this karmic is purposely doing that. 
but because the relationship has no real substance or intimacy behind it, that's why it feels like that. So let's get another card here for the thoughts. Look at that. Need a job. I think this masculine A is looking for a new job, one that pays a lot more money, or B has just found one. So if it's the latter, congratulations, masculine. I'm hoping the best for you. Okay. And, you know, I do think that if this masculine stays very focused on work and doesn't let anything affect their work performance, I think that they're going to move up really fast. That's what Spirit is telling me. Because, again, expect a miracle, masculine. It's going to come in. Okay, you got the angels working on your side. So there's nothing that can stop you. And let's go ahead. Well, there is. Yourself. Yourself is the only person that can stop you. Okay. But, um, yeah, when you got the universe and the angels on your side, there's nothing you can't accomplish. And let's go ahead and take a look at the emotions they feel, if any, towards the karmic. All right. Okay, so for the emotions, look, frozen. Their heart is ice. Their heart is frozen. Okay, they have been searching and searching and searching for the one to break that ice, for the one to melt that frozen heart. And they've been searching in the wrong way. But they do realize that being with this karmic has only made their heart grow colder. They haven't found the love they were looking for. They haven't found the intimacy. They have found that their heart has become colder. That they've become a little sadder. That there are certain things they don't want to accept. And... That there's more to intimacy than a sexual bond. You cannot replace intimacy with a sexual bond. It will leave your heart and your soul feeling frozen. And that is what this masculine is finding out. Spirit, please reveal to me the emotions. The emotions this masculine feels towards the karmic. Oh my gosh, look what came out, you guys. Love or money. Which one isn't masculine? And look what it says. Sex for money. Remember when I told you he feels like, you know, like he's getting paid from this karmic to, I mean, he's not, but that's what he feels like because that's like what this karmic treats him like. Um... Yeah, he's not going to stay in this relationship for that. Okay. Um, he's saying there isn't love here. So guess what? I'm going to focus on money. I'm going to focus on money so that I can find real love. So that I don't have to ask for support from anyone. Because the only support that I want is emotional support. Is intimacy. Is knowing that I have a real connection with a real human being out there somewhere who also feels that connection with something more than just physical. Spirit, tell me more about the emotions the masculine feels towards the karmic partner. So he knows this karmic is stalking him, is following him, is watching him, and is always, always near. And honestly, it's the biggest turnoff ever for this masculine. It really is. Okay. Um... So yeah, remember I told you, I, I felt in the beginning they're afraid to leave his side. They're afraid he's going to like cheat or something. 
this karmic, you know, they find like condoms and things like that, like in their pockets and their wallets. They found all these things. So, you know, and it's because they were doing things. But I don't think this karmic and this masculine have a real commitment. It was not ever spoken. This was like hooking up and then just like hanging out and like somehow becoming like a thing. But it's not like no feelings have been spoken and like no commitment is in place. So that's a relationship that I see here. It, it feels very kind of off. But let's get the intentions the masculine has towards the karmic. It's time for divine intervention. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Masculine spirit says it's time for Cupid's arrow to strike. Who are they going to strike? Right? Who are they going to strike? Um, yeah, it's time. It is time. Um, no more running. That's what spirit is asking, okay? And you know what? This masculine doesn't want to run anymore. They're done with running. Okay, so I am seeing very, very soon, extremely soon, you guys. Oh, sorry about that. Here we go. Extremely soon, and I mean, I kind of feel like this is going to happen immediately after this reading. Like, I really feel like this is a very current energy. Spirit's saying it's time. Um, the angels are saying it's time for the divine intervention now, right now. So it's going to happen now. That's what I'm feeling. Right now, this is happening. Okay? It is time now. So I'm feeling like tomorrow, possibly, maybe a few days. Okay? Um, yeah. And guess what? This masculine spirit saying it's time that you do fall in love. It's time you do get struck by Cupid Zero. And guess what? Someone else is going to get struck by it too. Spirit's saying it's time now. Okay. Let's get another card here for your intentions. Okay, masculine, you got to learn to put up those boundaries. That's what spirit is saying. Okay. Because... You really have disrespected your own boundaries, masculine. You have. You've had a lack of healthy boundaries. And people, this karmic, has not respected your boundaries. And, you know, in the past, you really have not, people have not respected your boundaries because you have been so open and forgiving and, and free with yourself. I feel that you've went through a lot of disrespect because of that, especially from other masculines. And because masculines, some of them, not all of them, some of them don't appreciate that. Like, they do not respect a masculine that is open and, you know, just that type of energy. They don't respect that, right? But um, I think some of it's jealousy, to be honest with you. So this masculine might not get along with other masculines. That's another energy I'm picking up here. Um... I can tell you some of it's jealousy. Some other masculines are jealous of this masculine. Okay. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's time to put those boundaries up. you got to make a decision, masculine. Do you really want love? Because right now is a time that love is coming in. So if that's what you really want, you have to work on those boundaries. Because when you get the relationship that you've been searching for and you're in love deeply... What happens when someone tries to cross that boundary with you? What happens when you have a few too many drinks and, you know, you make a mistake, the same old mistake that you're all too comfortable making, right? That's why there needs to be very firm boundary. Oh, look at what wanted to fall out. And you are almost there. The answers you're seeking are very close. Spirit saying, do not give up. There is a new beginning very close. It's right on the other side here. Uh, the only thing you need to do is work on the boundaries. That's it. And Spirit's also saying, you're right at the boundary of your new life. All you have to do is walk through the door. There's a beautiful, bright 
sunrise waiting for you and um masculine you're going somewhere beautiful so you're gonna need those boundaries because there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna want to get close to you and you know this whole situation is really teaching this masculine the value of true connection true intimacy true love um, what it really means and that you can't put a price on it it's priceless there is nothing in this world that can compare to it at all and this masculine knows that all too well because it's the only thing they've truly been searching for all this time and let's get another card here for the intentions Yeah, they're like, look, I'm over this. I am over this. I'm over the stalking. I'm over the following. I'm over the watching. I'm over the stupid money thing. I'm over feeling frozen in my heart. Like, I'm over not being able to feel anything. Um, I'm over, like, having to ask for help when I need it. I'm over having all of these sexual bonds and no real intimate bond, I'm over it. I'm done with it. I never want to go back to this point. And spirit is saying, as long as you have strong boundaries, masculine, you will never go back to this point. That's why it's so important. So let's take a look at the actions. What actions are you going to take towards the karmic? I can see it's time. So... How are these angels influencing his actions and what actions are he gonna, is he going to take? Let's see. The moon. Okay, so he's uncertain what actions he's going to take. But when it's time, it's time. There is going to be something happen, some sort of event that is unknown. Something's unknown. It is not revealed yet. So it's some sort of event that's going to happen. It's going to feel kind of like a shock, but it's definitely going to happen out of the blue and it's going to be divine intervention. Okay. And, you know, it could happen around the next full moon with the moon here. I got more. This masculine's a cancer. I feel very strong way there. Cancerian energy, sun, moon, or rising. I have... Cancer, Cancer, and Saggy. So those are the only two signs that's come out for the masculine so far. You know, um, this is convenience over heart with the moon. All right. So their heart belongs somewhere else and they know it. They intuitively know it. They know it in their heart. They know it in their mind. Okay. And, um... They're uncertain the actions they're going to take, but trust and believe there will be some actions taken. Okay, very soon. Very, very soon. Because there's going to be some sort of like event that's going to happen that is going to give this masculine the perfect opportunity to walk out the door. Free. Free. And it's going to be perfect. It's just going to line up so perfect for this masculine. It's going to seem like fate. And it's going to happen very, very soon. Let's get another card here for the actions. Anything I want. So they're saying, I can actually have anything I want. And I'm going to go after it. I'm going to go after it. Because what I want isn't money. What I want isn't material. But I feel in my intuition... That what I want also wants me. I know that what I want is out there. Somewhere under the moon. Searching for me. As much as I'm searching for them. I know that what I want is out there. Staring up at the sky. And thinking of me. At the same time that I'm thinking of them. And that's the only thing I want. That's what people don't know. That's what no one understands about this mask. <clears throat> okay. 
Let's take a look at the thoughts this karmic partner has towards the masculine. Oh, look at that. We got strength. We got Leo here. Okay. Um, so I definitely feel like this karmic is overwhelming. They are like just very overwhelming. Like just, I feel that they try to overpower this masculine, like not with their physical strength or anything like that, but they try to overpower them with their emotions and with like their clinginess. And like, it's like something about them tells them that like, if they do this enough, this masculine will just break down all their boundaries and just give in, just give them whatever they want. Okay. This karmic, I feel with strength and the three of wands, they want to rule over this masculine. They feel like they want to rule over them. They feel this masculine cannot make their own decisions. Okay. And, um, yeah, that's how they feel. I got Aries here too. Overwhelm, overbearing. That was the card. That was the word I was looking for. This karmic has very overbearing thoughts and like actions. And they think about dominating this masculine a lot. They do. They think about that. Um, I feel like they try to overwhelm them with anxiety and with emotions so that they'll like be more okay with the karmic making all their decisions for them and controlling them this karmic wants to move this connection up a notch they want to take it a step up so they want to move into a commitment okay and that's something this karmic i feel that's something that was never discussed with this masculine at all all right um You know, I also feel like with strength and the three of wands, like this is Aries Leo. This is very like, I don't know. It's just very out there. Very like, you're going to hear me. You're going to see me. Um, I'm not going to be shut down. I'm not going to be discarded. You're not going to ignore me. I will overpower you. I will overwhelm you. I will follow you. I will stalk you. I will do this so much until you actually like me, until you want a relationship with me. That is how this karmic thinks. I'm not joking. That is how they think. They think if they can possibly like do all this stuff, stalk them, overwhelm them, whatever it is, just be so overbearing that this masculine gives up their will to even put up a boundary. Because it's such a fight to even do that with this Aries Leo energy. And I'm not saying they're an Aries or a Leo, but they could be, right? That they just give up. Okay, fine. Whatever. Have whatever you want. Just just let me have some peace. That's that's the type of energy here. It's basically an adult temper tantrum and a relationship. Let's get another card for their thoughts towards the masculine. Prove it. I've got 99 problems. <laughs> Not confessing unless they're caught. Okay, so they would never admit to their thoughts. What they're thinking, they would never tell this masculine. They would never tell them, oh, I'm going to be so overbearing to you that you know, you you give up your will to create a boundary. They're not going to tell them that um, they're gaslighting them, that, you know, they purposely try to make this masculine question their own strength, um, their own abilities, their own capacity for love. This karmic questions their capacity for love all the time. Uh, they may have even told this masculine, you're incapable of loving. I mean... And they do part they, they do this partly out of spite because of this masculine like sleeping with someone else. Even though they weren't committed, they still do this out of spite. Like, well, you've hooked up with enough people and you don't love any of them, you know. I think you might be incapable of love. So weird. I just I just saw someone standing behind me. There's no one in here. 
but there's definitely someone here with them. But yeah, this is gaslighting to the max, okay? And they would never, ever admit what they're really thinking, ever, okay? So they want this masculine to believe that true love doesn't exist. This is as good as it gets. And honestly, that's sad. Um, to put yourself down to that level, thinking that you don't deserve love. So that's probably a belief the karmic has. Um, that true love doesn't really exist. There's material things and there's relationships. Let's get an emotion, what the emotions this karmic has towards the masculine. The empress, this karmic might want to get pregnant by this masculine. This karmic acts like they are their mother. They act like they are their mother. It's a little bit creepy. It's a little weird, okay? Um, this karmic, actually, I feel like they are in love with this masculine. This masculine's not in love with the karmic. Okay, I have Taurus, Libra, Aries, Leo here for the karmic. Um, very material with the Empress. Again, with the Empress and strength right next to each other, strictly physical, strictly lustful relationship that this karmic completely took the wrong way. They completely took it the wrong way. And they are trying to turn it into something that it is not. Okay, they believe that things can work out between them, um, that they can turn this into love somehow, that somehow this vibration of overbearing and anxiety, you know, she can change into love, that she can somehow make him love her. Trying to rekindle the spark that they both once felt over the physical connection that they had, but the thing about that type of spark fades very quickly. There has to be intimacy and love to back it up, to rekindle it. And the truth is, it's just not here. So let's get another card here. Blocked on social media. Right? So I feel with blocked on social media, I think that... <laughs> Okay, so one th what I'm getting here is this karmic, like, also kind of, I feel like they get into their social media and they'll just, like, start deleting people, just erasing people off of their social media. Um, and they'll be like, oh, I didn't do that. No, no, I didn't do that. Um, they'll, like, block people without this masculine knowing. Just, you know, especially if it's, like, a another feminine, they'll, like, block them, things like that. Um, and they'll be like, oh, no, I didn't do that. No, they must have blocked you or something like that. Or this masculine will go in and, like, see that they're blocked and be like, why did you do this? And they'll be like, oh, no, 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 I didn't do that. You did that when you were drunk, remember? That's what they do. They're, they're a gaslighter, right? Okay, so that's one thing that they do. Let's go ahead and take a look at the intentions the karmic has towards the masculine. We have date, invitation, and time together. So again, they're very like overwhelming, almost feeling like a suffocating type of energy. Okay, they're going to try to take this masculine out. This is like whining and dining, the empress and date. Super expensive restaurant with really expensive alcohol and, you know, really fancy clothes. And I don't even know what else you guys like. But this is what the karmic wants to do. They want to like wine them and dine them and, you know, do all of these fancy things and um, believe that it's going to make this masculine fall in love with them. Fated love. Okay, life partner. They want to have this masculine's child. They want to get married with this masculine. And they have it in their mind that this is fated for them. They believe that this is what's going to happen. Okay. But really what this is, is this masculine, this love, or lack of love, is going to help this karmic grow. It's going to help them realize 
You can't force someone to love you. You can't. You can give them all the money in the world. You can be the most attractive person they've ever seen. You can, you know, have the nicest things. You can have them, you know, the nicest car, the nicest house. You can treat them wonderfully. You could worship them, but it still can't make them love you. That is a chemical response. It is a physical response. It is an emotional and mental. It, is, it takes over every single emotional body that we have. And it cannot be forced. Let's get another card here for the intention. Look, they're not interested in sex with the karmic. So the karmic is trying to entice them into sex. This karmic's actually freaking out because they've noticed that the sexual interest is kind of declining, um, which is only natural for a relationship that has no nothing else behind it, right? When there's no intimacy, when there's no love, it's only natural for the sexual interest to decline. Um, and so this karmic's trying her hardest to rekindle it, trying to force it to be rekindled, okay, but really to no avail. So let's get the actions. What actions are they gonna take towards the masculine? This masculine's worried about work and building their self up, building their money up. They're not even worried about this karmic right now at all. Um, Let's take a look at these actions the karmic wants to take. Okay, so it's like, I feel with this card, your connection is protected. It's talking about um, making sure that connection is going to be there in the future. Protect, they see this as protecting their relationship, protecting their connection. Okay, but really it's just holding on to something or someone that was never meant to be on your path. They were never meant to be on your path, Carmen. They weren't. I truly feel that these two were not meant to be together. Not like this. And I might get you know, a lot of crap for saying that. And I've never said it before, but you know what? I got to be honest. And that's what I'm seeing here. I really, truly see that. Look what just flipped over. Separation. They are meant to be separated. Okay. Um, this relationship has too many obstacles to overcome. And it's created a lot of unnecessary obstacles and this masculine's destiny and the karmic's destiny too, um, you know. And this karmic sitting here waiting, waiting for them to love them back, waiting for them, this masculine, to love them. And it never happened. So it's actually very sad, you know, but they're going about it in the wrong way. And the best thing would be to just let go. Let's get another card for the actions. Money spells. Using money, expensive dinners, dates, you know, waiting for this masculine to love them. But we see that something's going to happen here. All right. There will be an event, a divine intervention. Okay. It's going to happen very, very soon. So let's go ahead and take a look here. How does the masculine see this other person? Show me what is in his thoughts about this other person here, this other feminine in the reading. Seven of Swords. Taming Hunger. Six of Wands, okay. So this masculine feels about this feminine. Well, his thoughts about this feminine is that um, 
First of all, he's longing for you. He's craving for you with taming hunger. It says taming a player. There's something about you, your connection, that really makes him feel like satisfied, right? Like content, like there's a spark there. There's something there that he's never felt before. And it's, ex it's exactly what he's been looking for. But that's the exact same reason why he feels like this connection's a little dangerous. It feels dangerous to him because he has never experienced this. So he's not sure if it's a lie, um, if it's real, okay? But he does recognize you, okay? And um, with the Six of Wands, I feel that he watches you. So I feel for this feminine, if you're the feminine I'm, I'm talking about, you've probably caught this masculine watching you, okay? Um, keeping an eye on you. Let's see how he feels towards this feminine. Okay, money focus. He wants, and it came out in reverse. So what he's feeling is that he's no longer going to choose money over love. No longer. That is no longer an option for him. He has been cheating himself and he knows that. We got the two of swords here and the emotions. Okay, so still in that indecisive mode about what he's going to do. But it's like, I feel this masculine feels such a longing towards this feminine that he tries not to be like so sexual with this feminine because it is real. So it's like while he has a sexual connection with no substance behind it or spirituality or love behind it, it's like he's he's wanting more and more of that because it's not satisfying him. It's not, you know, it's not making him happy. It's not letting him feel any sense of intimacy, but instead it's just making him feel like he's losing something, right? Um, you know, but with this feminine, it feels a lot different. It it It's the opposite. He's not wanting to do that all the time. He's not wanting sex all the time because there's something more than sex because there is actually substance and um, feelings behind it. Okay, so what are the actions that he wants to take towards this feminine? Wheel of Fortune, look at that. He wants change. He feels, and look at that, fate and destiny. This is the person he's meant to be with. Okay, I have um, Aquarius here. I have... Leo here. I have um, also Saggy. But yeah, this is the person he's meant to be with. He wants a change in his love life. He wants to make that change with this feminine. Okay, he feels lucky to have met this feminine. Oh, High Priestess, Divine Feminine, look at that. And he feels like there's something so much more beyond what you can see, um, the physical connection. And he feels balanced with this person. Um, he sees this person as extremely feminine. Um, this relationship is a secret. I will tell you it is a secret. Um, but yeah, with the high priestess here, I think that there's an unspoken connection and an intuitive spiritual connection that is very hard to describe. And this masculine can't describe it. What's the actions he wants to take towards this feminine? Okay, clean up, cut karmic ties and do the inner work. So obviously, this is finally releasing the karmic behavior and the karmic and actually putting up those boundaries for himself. And look at that. We got the five of wands. All right. So cleaning up the opposition, cleaning up any conflict within himself and doing that inner work, um, actually opening up talking when he's not just drunk. Okay, not keeping secrets, that type of energy, but allowing himself to change spiritually. Okay, spiritual change. And then it'll turn physical. Again, I have Leo. I have Taurus Pisces. Okay. So let's go ahead and you know what? To close out this reading, I'm going to get some messages to this feminine from this masculine. What do they really want to say to you? Let's take a look.
And we'll get a couple hidden truth cards as well. Okay. What does this masculine want to say to their divine feminine spirit? Okay. We got quite a few, you guys. So we have, I just want to escape my life right now. Um, and I do. I, I try to escape with drinking. I try to escape with hooking up with people. And um, because I want to escape, I wish I could escape my life sometimes. This is what they want to tell you. Sometimes I wish I could just escape being me. You have no idea how badly I want to taste you. I am thirsty for you. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I'm going through this awakening and I feel like I'm losing my mind. I feel so drawn to you. Um, but I, I just want to escape. I just want to escape and I want to escape into you. I want to escape into this connection. Because I feel like I can really be myself with you. The way that I can't be myself with anyone else. I still have feelings for you. I've had feelings for you since day one. And I don't know why. I don't know how. But I do. I miss hearing your voice. I miss talking to you. And I feel so drawn to you. The way that I've never felt before, ever in my life. Okay. So that is the reading that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.